Hello, it's Frank, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade the WordPress core files. Now, if you're watching this video, you already know what what those what that is because you're looking for this to see how it's done. But just in case you didn't, um, sometimes uh, files get corrupt or somebody tries to hack the site and things just happen where you know the WordPress files get distorted or um, just messed up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to log into our cPanel. Uh, account um, and of course cPanel is the default or a lot of people use cPanel software that's the actual software name uh, for accessing your web hosting now there are plenty of other different services out there and I may do videos for those and I'll also may need to do a video for how to do it via FTP but right now we're just using cPanel because as that's the most common so once we've logged into our cPanel account we want to go to public HTML those are the files that the public see now part right away I see some files that I'd probably want to delete um, these aren't harmful files but I want to stay focused on what we're the task at hand here so what I want to do first of course is click the WP admin and we're going to hold control or command on your keyboard depending on PC or Mac and I want to delete these two folders I'm going to click delete and I want to go ahead and skip trash and permanently delete the files now if you're unsure of this, uh, I would go ahead and leave this unchecked and confirm, um, or you make sure you do a backup of the site first. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm here. If you've not done a backup of the site, which you should have done before, you just did what I just did, um, you would want to go back into your cPanel account uh, here. Oops. Um, you just wanna go back into your cPanel account and go to backup right here and download a full account backup. It'll ask you where you want to, I mean, it'll ask you if you want a reminder or um, I think you can actually click on do not send a backup and it will send it here. Um, and uh, it'll not send an email, but you can watch here and it'll show you when that's done. Obviously I just recently did a backup already, um, but you know we don't have to worry about that here. So let's go ahead and go back into our file manager where we are here. We have just the WP content folder left which we want because that's where our plugins, our themes, and any of our uploads are. So if you've uploaded images or PDF files or document files or whatever, they're all here. So we do not want to delete that folder. Additionally, we want to go here and delete the index and everything below that uh, in most cases. You want to kind of sort through there and make sure uh, there's nothing that you want uh, that you want to keep in this case We do want to keep always we want to keep the WP config file because that's how it's connected to the database uh, Which another video I should do is show you what to do if that file gets deleted or corrupt um, and how to reattach a database to WordPress um, Also, I want to go ahead and keep this zip file. I'm not exactly sure what it is It looks like it might be just a compressed file um, of all the files here in this folder um, it's only like 28 megs, uh, no big deal. I'll probably delete that or download it and delete that as well. But I'm going to delete all the other files in this folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete and I'm going to skip because I don't want to put it in my trash. No need for it. And then what we're going to do next is upload the WordPress folder, the zip file. If you don't have that, you just go to WordPress.org. You can download it here. Just get WordPress. Click the whatever this latest version is for you. Uh, today it's 6.1.1, which I've already downloaded. So we're going to upload and I'm going to select that file. It's right here. And um, that's green. We want to make sure this turns green. That lets you know that it's completely updated. This is kind of confusing here. It says maximum file size uploaded. Up, allowed for upload is 18.6 oh, 18.66 gigabytes okay we, well there's no problem there I was thinking this was megabytes because the file is only is just under 24 megabytes so let's go back to here and we have the zip file here so what we're going to do next is un extract it and we're going to make sure it extracts in the public folder which is the default um, this just tells you all the files that were extracted. Um, of course, there's a lot of files because you can see there's subfolders that it gets extracted into. It puts it in this WordPress folder here. So we're going to select all and we're going to move them into the public HTML folder. So we want to back we're right here in the center section. We want to back this up so it just says slash public underscore HTML uh, slash. We're going to click move files this folder everything in there moved because it's now empty I'm going to go ahead and delete this folder so we can keep things tidy 
Uh, I'm going to skip the trash again. And we now have our WP admin and we have our WP includes and we have updated files here. And of course, we'll want to check to make sure the site is fine and it should load. Yep, it loads fine now. Um, of course, there wasn't much there to start with, but everything's good. And you now have um, all updated, refreshed files to work with um, in case you had, as I said, been hacked or something that just got corrupt or uh, you just playing around and got into something maybe that just happened to. Uh, happen to one of those files. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you ever have any questions, uh, just go to justaskfrank.com and send me a message and I'll get a video posted in the YouTube channel here. So thanks for watching and we'll be back again soon.